All right, so here is where we're going to learn how to use indirect truth tables to determine if a set of claims is consistent or inconsistent. And so what we're looking at here on the screen um, is actually from uh, exercise set three from 5.5, specifically problem number two. And um, I want to emphasize that what we're looking at here is not an argument. This is not an argument. This is one, two, three, four claims, right? There's no double slash here at the end. So these are just four claims, and the question here is, are they consistent? In other words, remember back from earlier in chapter five, the question about consistency is, could they all be true at the same time? If they could all be true at the same time, then they are consistent, and if that's not possible, of course, then they are inconsistent. And so that's why the very first step of the procedure sheet, or the, the, the guidelines sheet that I gave you for this, um, is to actually make all the claims true under their main operators. Right? So an important distinction there. We're not going to make the last claim false. We want to see if all these claims could be true at the same time, so that's what we do. Make all the main operators true underneath their main operator. Um, and so then next, we want to start, as it says, start with the claim that has a dot as its main operator. So it's a very specific instruction there. Um, and so, in fact, on this one, we are going to start with this last claim here and uh, make it true. In other words, we're going to make A true, and the tilde, of course, is feeding in from the right. So it's going to be the tilde that's true, making the F false. So I want to pause here to, again to emphasize the reason that we're starting with this claim here in terms of filling it out is not because it's last. That has nothing to do with it whatsoever. The reason we're starting with this claim is because it's the only claim out of all of these that has a dot as its main operator. And the reason that the dot gets special attention here is because there is just one way to make the dot true. That's not the case for any of the other operators. So definitely the dot is an area where we can actually, as we just saw, pin down the values here. And that's why you want to start there. Now, as the sheet says, um, if you don't have a, a statement with a DAW as a main operator, you then want to start with the claim that can be made true in the least number of ways, right, to make your life easier. So we made the dot true. We found out that A uh, is true and F is false. And then as the instructions say on that sheet, then go ahead and plug those in where you find them. So in other words, F is false here. A is true. A is true. And, and F is false there, right? So we now get to, again, the more difficult part, or the most difficult part of this procedure, and that is to start with the claim uh, that, that is easiest. Well, again, that can vary. Um, but I will say here for this one, um, since the F is false, of course, we know that the tilde has to be true. And so then we can ask ourselves, since we have true fitting in from the right, what does that tell us about S? We could ask, what does S have to be to make the horseshoe true? But of course, if I were to ask you, what does S have to be in order to make the horseshoe true here, I would, in, in a sense, be asking you a trick question. Because of course, the S doesn't have to be anything. It's already going to be true because we have tilde here. This tilde value is true. So S could be either true or false. And this will be true. And so we'll just, again, pay heed to the note at the end of this sheet, which says that if it doesn't matter what it is, you leave it blank. See, the idea is it doesn't matter what S is here, true or false. but Maybe it'll matter over here, and so we'll see that as we proceed. So basically, we have to leave this claim alone and, and go on. So I don't know. We could at least look at this one and see if we could work it out here. So A is true. Got true feeding in from the left-hand side into this horseshoe. And so then, if we're going to get um, true here underneath the horseshoe, we can all recognize that the dot has to be true to make this happen. But that's good news. Because then P and S both have to be true to make this happen, which will make the horseshoe true. right? And so you can actually, if you want to go ahead and, and backfill the S here, you can do that. But you can see why, even if it doesn't matter what S is here, it may matter, and it does, what S is there. If you made this false over here because you felt like it, well, then you're going to screw it up over here. So you don't want to do that. So we've got P and S are true. P is true. We don't have another S. So we're down to our last claim. We're going to see if we can work it out to make it true. P is true. The tilde then has to be false. False is feeding into the dot. We're looking at true from the A. True dot false. True dot false is false. Well, false 
and false. Does that equal true, so to speak? Does that give us true? It does. And so again, going to the sheet here, we are to continue until we're able to make all the claims true. And we did, right? And so we can then go down to step six, because step five is about, well, what happens when there's more than one way to make the first claim you worked on true? There was just the one way to make this true, so we can skip step five. So we get down to step six. If you are finally unable to get all the claims to be true, the claims are inconsistent. But if at any point in working on the problem, you're able to get all true claims at the same time, as we just showed, these claims are consistent, right? They are consistent. They could all be true at the same time, in other words, right? So um, that's how we're going to approach uh, indirect truth tables for consistency. It's similar to uh, testing for validity, uh, but again, we have to make the adjustment to make all the claims true at the same time and see if we can make that happen here. So we'll try this a few other times here in the subsequent videos to make sure you're totally getting the hang of this.